everybody, this is Mr. Martinez coming at you from San Martin de Porres Catholic School. Welcome, welcome to new school year. Welcome to virtual learning. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you exactly how to navigate through our newly designed school website on either your desktop or your laptop. This website was designed by Mrs. Ortega and I over the summer to help bridge the gap between virtual learning and in-person learning. So whenever you open up your laptop or your desktop and you go to your web browser, you're gonna to go to the top address bar here and you're gonna type in classdojo.com. Now I'm already signed in, so it's gonna say welcome back, but if you're not, then it'll say log in, you enter your email and all your credentials, and then you go to your main home page. Now, my page is going to look a little different only because I'm attached to each teacher's classes and each teacher's posts, but you should just be attached to your child's teacher and to the San Martín de Porres Catholic School main page where Mrs. Ortega sends all of her posts. So when you click on that main page, you're going to scroll down and you're going to find my welcome back message, this one right here that I'm highlighting in blue. And when you find it, you'll see that it reads, welcome back. It feels great to see everyone on their Google Meet sessions with their teachers again. I have linked below our new school website. Here, you as parents will be able to find things such as school announcements, information on each teacher, as well as calendars and anything else that you might need. A video demoing how to access everything in its capacity will be up shortly. Once again, we thank you for your patience and understanding as we all tackle this hurdle of hashtag distance learning. Now, right underneath the post, you see this blue link that says sites.google.com. This is the link that's going to take you to our new school site. So once you click on this blue link, it's going to automatically send you to that website. Ta-da! The first thing that we see uh, to the left is the school students wearing their masks. To the right, the little line students wearing their masks. And in the middle, San Martín de Porres also wearing his mask. So when you scroll down, the first clickable link that you're going to see is this one right here that says Parent Portal, attached as Mrs. Ortega's little bitmoji right here. This is going to send you to our Parent Portal, but we'll go through that once we're done with the home page. Right here, this is our Welcome Back video. This is going to be the section where any videos that we need to upload or anything that you need to see uh, as an update will be right here. And right below, you see the Announcements tab. To the left of the Announcements, you see that Bishop's letter about two weeks ago when he published it is right here so you can scroll through and read it whenever you have time um, but this section is going to be whatever school-wide announcements that we have for you this is where that's going to live so if we scroll all the way up and we click on parent portal right here it's going to send you to this page where you see the banner that reads catholic school strong and distance learning when you scroll down, you see all of our teachers, all of our beautiful, wonderful teachers here at San Martin, uh, as well as our counselor right here at the bottom. At the top, you see these little buttons with their names on them that says that you can email them. So they're automatically linked to their emails. And once you press them, it's going to send you to whatever email subscription that you're subscribed to, whether it's Outlook or Office or anything. It's going to send you to the, um, that little site or that uh, extension where you can just email them whatever questions or whatever thing that you need to email them on. Now, directly underneath the email buttons, you're going to find our line of teachers. In order from left to right, we have Mrs. Tina Hero, Ms. Torres, Mrs. Hasso, Mrs. Vemu, and Mrs. Cantu. We'll get to them in just a bit, but if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see two sets of calendars. To the left, we have our monthly calendar. This is going to give you a month at a glance. Anything that you might need to know for the month is going to be on here. For instance, on Tuesday, September the 8th, we're going to have no school because of a staff in service. So uh, picture days and anything else like that's going to be updated right here on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have our 2020 2021 academic yearly calendar. And this is going to be where school days off weather days test days first day of school last day of school all of that that's where this is going to be housed now this little button right here at the top right it says pop out you're going to click on that and it's going to maximize it for you and make it bigger so that way it's easier for you to see this is also going to allow you to download it directly to your computer should you wish to have easy access to it and right underneath the calendars we have online resources for you as parents we have linked these logos to the pages that you need. So for Class Dojo, it'll send you directly to the login. For Facebook, if you click on it, it's going to send you directly to our school Facebook 
page. Now, if you haven't liked it, make sure to like it because we do update this quite frequently and we do like to go live also when the students are at school. Next, you have grade link, and this is where you're going to be able to access the student's grades or your child's grades. Uh, our school ID is 488, and then you can log in with your credentials whenever you get that. Next, we have our school YouTube page, and this is going to be where we have all of our morning announcements, our pledges. We even have a few student projects on here that we do with them. Uh, so make sure to just subscribe because we do upload on here almost every day. And last but not least, we have our Renaissance. This is going to be the AR login where the students will go and take their tests or you as the parents can go and you can monitor their test work. When you click on the student, you're going to input the username and password right here in this slot. So now if we go all the way back up, we're going to see our teachers. The first teacher we're going to click is Mrs. Tinajero and you see her little virtual classroom in here at the top. Um, when you scroll down, you still see that you have uh, the email button at the top and a little bit of a, an about me that you're more than welcome to read um, when you get to the site. Right underneath her about me and her picture, you have this week at a glance. Now, Mrs. Tina Hedo will be updating this um, weekly if there's going to be different things that she's going to be doing with the kids on the virtual side of things. So when we go back to the parent portal, we go next to Miss Torres's class and we see her Montessori preschool uh, little banner right here. Um, also, again, we have the email button right up there. Each teacher will have that button, her about me. And right here, this is very important. This is going to send you directly to her live classes that she does every single morning with the kids. So when you click on the little camera icon for Google Meet, it's going to send you directly to uh, the login page where you can log in with your username and password, and it'll take you directly to her Google Meet. Right underneath that, you see her remote learning schedule and it tells you who's going to be participating with what at what time here we have miss Torres's week at a glance we see the top right here august 31st through september 1st for her pre-k work and everything that they're going to be working on from monday through friday scrolling down we see the same thing but for kinder we can see everything that they're going to be working on as well um august 31st through september the fourth. Now, if we scroll down past the week at a glance, we see her Google Classroom. This little chalkboard, if you click on it, will take you directly to her classroom. Since I'm not a student, it won't let me see it, which is a good thing because we have to add all of these privacy settings for our students. Um, but if you click on her and your child is her teacher, uh, then you will go straight to the classroom. Uh, this online resources will save for the last teacher. Um, but if you go all the way back up and back, we'll move on to the next one, who is Mrs. Hustle. Once you're on her page, you see the same banner, Montessori Preschool with Mrs. Hustle. You also see her email button right here at the top. And right below that, you see her About Me that you can read when you visit her page here on our site. Below the About Me, we also have the Google Meet camera for Mrs. Hustle's class that she has every morning with her students. Below that, she has the same thing as Ms. Torres' class with the remote learning schedule that tells you what they're going to be learning at what time and who's going to be doing it. Right below that, you also have her area of the pre-K work for the week of August 31st through September the 4th. Underneath that, you have her kinder work, same thing, August 31st through September the 4th. And all of these are going to be updated every single week. And right below her week at a glance, you see her little icon for Google Classroom that takes you directly to Mrs. Hassel's Google Classroom. If we go back, we go next to Mrs. Vermu. And Mrs. Vermu, we see her banner that says, Welcome to first and second grade. We also have her email button right there. We have her about me that you can read when you get to her page on our site. And right below her about me, she also has the Google Meet camera for her class. Right here, when you click on it, it'll take you directly to the Google Meet whenever she's live with the students every weekday um, at the specific times. Now here, her little week at a glance looks a little bit different. Uh, we can see that it's for first grade right here at the top. And the very first thing you see is the schedule. So it tells you what's going to be live, what's going to be in person, um, face-to-face -face with the teacher and then what's going to be 
independent work for the kids. Uh, this little flip book tells you exactly what they're going to do every day and exactly what to do with the directions on the left hand side and the to do list with the right hand side. It gives you the little pictures of the books and you can scroll through and it tells you what they're going to do every single day for that week. Now, if you look off to the side here, you see these little purplish tabs running down. The very first one we're going to click on is the AR tab, and it gives you the AR list right here, what to do uh, for your weekly goal, reading and testing books that are on your level, and making sure that you get at least two points per week. Down here, you see where the Epic class code is, and this is going to be what you input on the Epic site if you don't already have it. And in order to do that, you just go to the big epic logo right here on the left hand side of the tab. And once you click it, it'll automatically send you to the login page of getepic.com. And you'll be sent to the login. Or if you are already logged in, it'll send you directly to your class. Now, the second tab says AR test, and this is going to be the Renaissance tab. So uh, you have your to do list, the same thing as the first tab right here. But when you click on the screenshot right here on the left hand side, it's going to send you to the login page for Renaissance or AR testing. And you will log in just as you would when you were testing on your books. Now, this last one is AR book find. And this is to see if you have any books at home or any books lying around that you don't know if they're AR test or not you click on this screenshot right here on the right hand side of the tab and it's going to send you to the renaissance uh, arbookfind.com and it has all these options to choose from and whether you're the parent or the student you can click one of those buttons and submit and then the next page is going to have a little search bar at the top where you can type in the name of the book or the name of the author to see if that book that your child wants to read is AR testable or not. Now when you exit out of that page and you scroll down past this first week at a glance, we see Mrs. Vermu's Google Classroom. The same as Ms. Torres and Mrs. Hasso, it'll take you directly to her Google Classroom. And underneath that, you see the second grade schedule. The same as the first grade, but they have a little bit of different times and a little bit of different things. So it'll tell you what's going to be live and what the students are going to work on in person. And the same thing as the one previous, it has the same tabs with the same information, except uh, it's going to be different books or different work um, based on the grade level, first grade or second grade. And you can see that all the tabs right here, they're working and you can click on them to visit any of those sites. And now we can get to our online resources icon right here. This green icon is going to take you to another page where we have linked various resources that we have approved as a school here on campus for the students to use. You see that below you will find a link to websites that the students may use and we've created a little mock virtual computer lab right here. On the top of the chalkboard you see all the different links and all the different logos of the websites that we have put out here and if there are any more along the line we'll put them up and we'll update you but the very first one is the renaissance ar the second one is a really cool site it's a virtual pe so it's some sort of physical activity that the kids can do at home that they don't have to necessarily be here at school to do that you can participate with them or they can do it by themselves if they don't want to go outside if it's too muggy it has really cool activities for them to do at home either in the room or in the living room or with you the next one is the Epic, the same thing, the Get Epic Books. Um, you can log in and input your class code if you haven't done so already. The next one that we have is ABC Ya. And this website is a little bit of fun games for kids, educational games from pre-K all the way to sixth grade. And this will be for anything that's done after their work. If they have any sort of things that they want to do after they're finished, they can go on ABC Ya or on this one right here, Starfall. And the Starfall website is geared more towards smaller students or younger students because it only goes up to third grade, but it still has very good and very educational games for them. And our last link that we have is for pbskids.org. This is very popular amongst our students. They love to play this in the after school or whenever they're finished with their work. So they know how to navigate it pretty well and it's very entertaining for them. It has games that they can participate in or videos that they can watch. And we really like this website. And that is all. That is our new website for you to use and navigate through. Next, I'm going to show you how to add it to your bookmarks bar on Google Chrome. So if you open up a new tab or if you exit it out, you can open up Google Chrome again, a new window, 
and you're going to want to go back to class dojo this is only if you exit it out if you're still on the school site you can stay on there no problem just click on that home button but if not you go to classdojo.com you go to your login right here you enter your credentials if it's not already logged in or you click the welcome back and you're going to click on the San Martin de Porres Catholic School main page and find my post once again the post that has the blue link this one right here this is only if you are not on the site already once you get to the home page to the very first page where you see Mrs. Ortega's bitmoji you're going to click this star right here at the top right hand corner this is going to be bookmarking the site and it's going to automatically save it as smdpcs and you can change it if you'd like i just put school website but you can put whatever you want or you can keep it the same it's totally up to you and it's going to be right here at the left hand side this little purple icon now if you don't see it it's probably because your bookmarks bar is turned off so i know you can't see my screen right now but you're going to click this these three dots right here at the top right hand corner and right underneath the downloads you're going to see bookmarks drop down menu when you go and highlight that it's going to say show bookmarks bar and you're going to want to make sure that there's a little check mark on the show bookmarks bar because if not then you're not going to be able to see it and once that's checked out you can see that it's there and we're good to go you can also bookmark class dojo if you'd like and you can nickname it or you can keep it the same it's totally up to you whatever is your preference whatever you find more helpful and this is for google chrome and that's the end i know that it was a quite a lengthy video but I really wanted to get in depth on exactly what to do and how to navigate through our website. We will be updating it uh, weekly, daily, monthly, whatever we need to do. So make sure that you're checking it out and seeing if there's anything there that uh, can help you in any way, shape or form. That's what we're here for. If you have any questions regarding the video or regarding how to access something else, you can always call our office. We're here all the time, Mrs. Ortega and I. We're more than happy to help. And thank you so much. Happy learning.